गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर फोर हैविंग नेम स्क्रू थ्रेड मेजरमेंट एंड गेयर मेजरमेंट दिस चैप्टर इज फॉर टोटल ट्वेल्व मार्क्स एंड इट हैज एट आवर्स सो इन दैट चैप्टर बेसिकली वी हैव टू सी व्हाट इज स्क्रू थ्रेड देन व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टर्मिनोलॉजी ऑफ स्क्रू थ्रेड एज वेल एज वॉट टर्मिनोलॉजी ऑफ गेयर एंड the uh, gear measurement so uh, this is the chapter number 4 so first of all we'll see what are the different types of threads so as we know there are different types of threads like uh, withward thread square thread acme thread so there are the different types of threads so if we go with withward thread then uh, angle of withward thread that is 55 degree so uh, if we see the square thread the angle of thread that is the 90 degree and if we consider the example of acme thread then angle is <coughs> 29 degree so these are the uh, all types of threads thread is a uh, most important part during uh, assembly so and any bolt having threads so uh, threads is most important so let's see the terminology of screw thread that means what are the different parts of our screw thread so let's see terminology of screw thread uh in this drawing uh, there are two types of threads external thread as well as internal thread so let's see first external thread and internal thread external thread that means the thread which cut at the outer diameter of object called as external thread and uh, the thread which cut at the inner diameter of object called as internal thread so in this diagram uh, there are two two threads external as well as internal so today we have to see the terminology of screw thread so at very first we will see first point that is the crest point of our external thread so crest point is nothing but the topmost point of screw thread so all topmost point of screw thread called as crest point next one root point so root point is nothing but the bottommost point of our screw thread called as root point so uh, these are the two points crest point and root point crest point is nothing but topmost point and root point is nothing but bottommost point so after that next one is the uh, flank flank is nothing but the inclined surface of screw thread are called as flank uh, after that next terminology that is pitch pitch is nothing but uh, the axial distance between two either two crest or two root of consecutive threads are called as pitch so if we take a uh, crest point then two co uh, two consecutive threads uh, axial distance between two consecutive threads of uh, crest called as a uh, pitch if we take a, uh, consider if we consider a root point then two root points of consecutive threads and axial distance between two root points are called as the pitch after that next one is lead so lead is nothing but when we turn our screw in one revolution then how much amount of axial distance is traveled by the screw such type of uh, such such is called lead after that next one is measure diameter minor diameter and effective diameter so major diameter means the uh, it is an imaginary diameter which uh, passes from all crest point of screw thread called as major diameter after that next one is minor diameter minor diameter that means an imaginary diameter which passes from all root points are called as minor diameter and uh, next one is effective diameter so it is indicated by d effective so effective diameter is nothing but an imaginary diameter which passes from all 
the midpoint of flank called as effective diameter so this is the effective diameter after that next one is third angle so third angle is nothing but the angle between two consecutive threads are called as two consecutive flank are called as thread angle so angle between two consecutive flank called as thread angle then uh, next one is flank angle flank angle is nothing but angle between vertical line with flank called as flank angle angle made of flank with vertical line called as flank angle so, so uh, these all are the terminology of our screw thread then uh, next point that is the errors in thread so errors in thread there are uh, different types of errors which occurs in that thread so let's see first one is drunken thread so such type of error are occurs due to uh, due to hello okay uh, such type of thread that means uh, when the flank surface does not uh, cut properly it uh, like a dotted line if cut like that then it call as uh, it, it call as drunken thread next one is progressive pitch error second error is progressive pitch error so as the length of thread goes increases uh, this error increases called as progressive pitch error so uh, if we see example of any bolt the as the length of bolt goes increases uh, this error occurs in that called as progressive pitch error next one is periodic pitch error so uh, it is error uh, getting repeated itself at a regular intervals after one interval it again comes as the length of thread increases then this uh, error also occurs next one is irregular error so uh, this type of error not having uh, specific causes uh, it always comes uh, and as their name they are uneven in nature that's why it's called irregular error 